Welcome back, everybody, to our exploration of system.txt.json. All right, James, so far we've talked about serializing and deserializing properties. Yes. What happens, though? Our objects contain fields. Ah, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh no. no. Are we stuck? Are we stuck? We rest no. of the afternoon off? No, I think, vacation? Well, I don't know. i got to go find something <laughs> else to do. No, we can totally handle this. Now, most of the time, we we'll probably have getters and setters, and maybe mm -hmm. read all the fields, and we've talked yep. about that a little bit. But yeah, sometimes you just have like a field, and you just want that to be exposed. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of interesting, um, but we can totally do it. So okay. let's check it out. All, all right. right. So I have my weather forecast up on the screen here, and I have the daytime now. It's cold. It's 2 degrees Celsius outside. It is very cold here in Seattle. And all I'm doing is just saying serialize. Now, everything I'm showing is serialized or deserialized. Yes. So that's kind of cool because additionally, you probably want to like even read into fields too. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to run this, okay? And what do you think we should see here? I, I could tell you what I want to see, yep. but what I think we're going to see, I want to see everything. You want to see date summary and stuff. Right, right. But yeah. if you scroll down to where we uh, define our class, I think just we have a getter and setter, we're probably just going to see date. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, we wouldn't be doing this video. That's very true. So here we go. <laughs> date. You are correct, yep. uh, Matt. And I use this nice little serializer option to do right indented, just because it kind of is nice for the output window. When I go down here, we can see there's just the just date. date. That's it. This is a power toy. Did you, did you know? Yeah, like double. Toy? It's like double click uh, control. Yeah. Yeah. That's, cool. that's great. Uh, very cool. Uh, but we can include those fields if we want to, because mm -hmm. you might want to include those yeah. fields. That'd be nice. And what if I told you it was just a little property here? I and beginning to love my JSON serial, serializer settings. Yes. Boom. Awesome. Just include those fields. Done. Just include them. Include them all. Yeah. Just do them. Why not? Do them all. Pop them all in. Pop them all in. Well, let's see what happens here. So, <laughs> so let's see if it actually does it. So if I'm going to go over this now, boom. There they They're are. All there. And go ahead and do this. And now we have date, love it. temperature, and it's cold. Cool. So let's see. Let's see something. Let's use our JSON ignore stuff that we learned last time and put that on a field. Yeah. What do you think is going to happen? Oh, let's take a look. Yeah. So I go down here and I say JSON ignore. There we go. And I'm going to ignore the summary. Our summary. Now, ideally, what should happen here is get just the date and the temperature. Awesome. That's so it. the same thing that we've been using all along for properties yeah. works for fields as long as we tell. Don't forget the fields. fields. That's correct. You know, don't, forget, don't leave the fields behind. Now, you may not want this to be global, though. Right. Because right? now it's just right. going to include every single field. Yeah. Eh. yeah. So we could actually customize this a little bit more. We could not make it a serializer option. And just like we had JSON ignore, what if I told you there was a JSON include? Ooh. I like that. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Yeah. So this is nice, right? So now I have two fields, temperature Celsius and summary. And in this case, I'm not globally saying include those fields. I'm saying only include this one. Right. That's kind of cool. So now when I run this, we should get this property of date, but we should only get the summary coming back here. And sure enough, right. summary. Cool. That's really cool, right? Yeah. So really highly customizable, and we can see it here on the output as well. Yeah. So it's really nice. I really like that you can do it both at the serializer settings at the global level or down below where you you know, it depends. Depends, depends what, what you want to do. Yeah. But you, you got the flexibility to do it everywhere. It is nice. So especially when you have a class like this, you might want to include all of them. So you just say include fields. Else, just go ahead and have that attribute mm -hmm. on there. But like you said, that ignore and the includes, they all are respectful based on your global um, settings and the yep. options. And then, of course, they're kind of overwritten down below right. inside of the attributes. Right. Boom. Awesome. We did it. Easy. I love it. I love it. Love easy, it. easy little thing. <laughs> so uh, there you go. We have a bunch of videos here on the Dynamo YouTube talking about system text JSON, STJ. System wow, text, STJ. that's going to save me a lot of stumbling. STJ. I'm going to stumble over that too. Yeah, we talk about STJ, <laughs> system text JSON over here uh, on the Dynamo YouTube. I love just, you know, everyone has to handle serialization. Yeah. And it is just really great because it's super optimized, all these little tweaks and tunes that you can do mm -hmm. inside of your code. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, Take a look below at the playlist of everything here for System Text JSON. And don't forget to like this video if you liked it at all and jam on that subscribe button. Ba boom! And become part of the <laughs> notification squad so you get updated every single time we put out a video right here on YouTube. That's going to do it for this video. I'm James. I'm Matt. And thanks for watching.